What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? We're at 2501 here. All right, guys, still with the Halloween specials. All right, I got the guys here. I've got uh, Carter, Hatless, and Huntsman here. Um, looks like Orange didn't want to join. I sent him an invite, but he never showed up. Unfortunate. Uh, Rocker's asleep. Anyway, so we've got part two of the Doom Slayer Arise in Warhammer 40K. All hell breaks loose. And this is by Dreadcore. So Huntsman is our resident uh, authority on Warhammer. He doesn't know everything, I don't think, but he knows more than any of us do. Probably more than all of us combined. So. I'm going to be fair with you. Yeah. I have literally just finished reading another Warhammer book recently. Okay, I so you okay. I, so I cannot recommend Kaifa's game. If you don't, if you like to read, read one of those. Trust me. I cannot recommend Caiaphas Kane. I can't yeah, he's a, you don't like is, 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 isn't he the guy who does everything by accident or something or what? What do anyway. you get when you cross a Compton Commissar and a raging case of imposter syndrome? Uh, oh. Zat Brennigan. <laughs> 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 No, you're gonna think of events that lead to the Eldar dropping the goddamn Avatar of Cain on a greater demon like it's a goddamn Titan from Titanfall. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. All right, uh, if I recall this vi this uh, video story, anyway, it features the Doomslayer versus Abaddon the Despoiler. So, so let's go. The roar of the dropship's engines filled the cabin as Captain Nathalian and his Salamander squad prepared for their next mission. The air was thick with tension as they sped through the void, bound for the planet of Karen IV, where a Necron tomb world had awakened. The Doomslayer, the mysterious warrior who had single-handedly decimated the forces of chaos on Lithran Prime, stood silently among them, his imposing form as still a stone. The thing is, though, how would the Doomslayer be that imposing to space raids? He, they're like two feet taller than he is. Yeah. For all we know, it could be from the perspective of a human scribe on board. That's true, that's true. I mean, cool. well, the Doomslayer is pretty big. He's like six foot six, so he's pretty tall. Yeah, he is. But to a, to a space marine, he's kind of like, wah! <laughs> 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 Even though he's stronger than they are. Mm-hmm. He hadn't said a word since boarding the ship. His yeah, he doesn't talk much. locked forward, as if seeing only the next battlefield in his mind. Nathalian, sitting across from the Doomslayer, studied him carefully. Despite the Doomslayer's terrifying prowess, the Salamander's captain felt no fear, only curiosity. This was a man, or perhaps something more, whose he is a bit was more. unmatched even by the most bloodthirsty of space marines. His armor... <laughs> smeared with demon blood and blackened by combat, looked ancient yet unbreakable. His eyes, it however, it literally is. darkness that not even the endless war against chaos could fully explain. Sergeant uh, Drasso okay. spoke in silence, leaning forward slightly. You fight like a berserker slayer. Where did you come from? The Doomslayer didn't respond. He remained motionless, <laughs> as though he lost in the throes of some inner battle. Yeah, he's a Drasso strong salad type. from Nathalian raising an eyebrow. Another salamander, Brother Veshon, attempted next. You've fought well against the demons. We could use warriors like you against the Necron Scourge. Still, no answer. The Doomslayer's hand, resting on his massive combat shotgun, tightened its grip slightly, but that was the only sign that he had heard them at all. His eyes remained fixed on the front of the dropship, ignoring the conversation around him. Nathalian exhaled, settling back in his seat. He had seen many warriors in his time, each with their own demons, but none quite like this. There was something primal about the Doomslayer, something that made even the stoic captain wary. He's not here for conversation, Nathalian said, his voice low. Let him be. We'll soon see what he's truly capable of. <laughs> Moments later, the dropship shuddered as it entered the atmosphere of Karen IV. The once vibrant planet had been reduced to a wasteland of blackened, ashen ground. Okay, that's that's an AI rendition of a Necron. That's actually not bad, but there's like no technology there. It's just a skeleton. I think I don't think the AI understood what the guy was trying to say about <laughs> what he was trying to put it. There's some kind of metallic backpack on it, but I don't know. <laughs> not not a very not 
It's it's pretty cool looking, but it's not a very good Necron. It's much more fantasy than 40k. Yeah, that looks like something you would see in Warhammer Fantasy. Does Warhammer Fantasy have Necrons? No, but they do have the Tomb Kings, which is basically the Necrons except minus the Olympic Metal. Okay, so basically and just plus zombies. plus one biggest asshole who ever existed. Plus one biggest asshole? Plus <laughs> <laughs> one Two death gods. Dill wasn't a god. And petty about that shit. <laughs> he ate two death gods and still wasn't a god. See, that's that's when you just got you got a problem with your diet, man. That's your problem right there. Yep. <laughs> Massive Necron obelisks dotted the landscape like the claws of ancient gods, each one pulsing with unnatural energy. As the dropship descended, the faint crackle of Necron gauze weaponry echoed through the air, signaling that the battle was already underway. The ramp of the dropship slammed down revealing the chaos outside. Necron warriors, with their soulless eyes and metallic frames, marched in perfect formation, their weapons firing beams of energy that disintegrated anything in their path. Imperial Guard forces were already entrenched, doing their best to hold back the tide, but it was clear that they were losing ground rapidly. The Salamander's squad wasted no time, charging down the ramp and into the fray. But even as they moved with purpose, the Doomslayer had already leapt ahead of them, launching Dude. himself into the heart of the Necron. He's already faster than they are. Speed. Yeah. <laughs> he moved like a force of nature, his shotgun barking out deafening blasts as he tore through the metallic ranks. Each shot reduced a Necron warrior to shattered fragments of metal, their bodies collapsing in heaps before they could even raise their weapons. The Doomslayer's fists followed, crushing Necron skulls and ripping limbs from torsos in a brutal display of strength. FYI, the Doomslayer is much more powerful unarmed than he is with his weapons. His fists can deliver more damage than any weapon he uses. He uses weapons for sport. <laughs> like, oh shit, he's out of ammo. Doomslayer is literally the one soldier you have to literally kill to get him to stop. And even that's not a deal breaker. No, it's not. Because you literally can't kill him. He's a perpetual. He doesn't die. Like, ever. <laughs> he is a <laughs> celestial entity. <laughs> He's more he's more of a concept made flesh than anything else. <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding, he literally is. He's because he absorbed the power of uh, Davoff, the creator of all things. He's literally just a he's like a concept made flesh. <laughs> Time of force of nature doesn't do him justice. He made mother nature his bitch. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, he let he he let's just say he left Mother Nature very satisfied. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pause. The, the Doom Slayer has literally fucked with Mother Nature. <laughs> Nathalian and his squad fought their way toward the Doom Slayer, cutting down Necron immortals and destroyers as they advanced. But it was clear that the Slayer didn't need their help. The Necrons, relentless and unfeeling as they were seemed almost hesitant to face him, as if some ancient fear had been awakened in their mechanical minds. Sergeant Dresos fired a bolt round into the chest of a Necron destroyer, sending it crashing to the ground. That is a big fucking rendition of the Doomslayer. Is it me or does he look like he has the BFG as a fucking arm cannon? Yeah, oh god, yeah it does. Oh wow. Holy crap, man. <laughs> yeah. That's he glanced at the Doomslayer, yeah. and just ripped apart a Triarch Praetorian with his bare hands. Okay, do you know what that is, Huntsman? Huntsman? Hello? I just realized my fucking microphone was muted. Oh, how did you get muted? You like that? I was wondering what that, that Triarch Praetorian was. Uh, it's basically just a Necron Royal Guard. That's the easiest way to sum it up, to my knowledge. Okay. Uh, they Okay, so they it's get, they... not as heavily armored and armed as a destroyer, but it's a middle ground between a destroyer and a basic Necron. Grunt. Oh, okay, so so it's it's kind of like a higher, higher, somewhat higher rank grunt. So, mm -hmm. okay, moving on. And muttered under his breath, "Emperor's mercy." But as the battle raged on, the Doomslayer's fury seemed to shift. He paused for a moment, standing over the broken bodies of his enemies his chest rising and falling with controlled breaths. His eyes narrowed as he surveyed the battlefield, and he turned back towards Nathalian, who was finishing off a Necron Immortal with a blast from his plasma gun. These are not demons, the Doomslayer growled, his voice low and filled with suspicion. 
His gaze shifted to the salamanders. What are these? Oh shit. <laughs> you don't want the Doomslayer's gaze to shift to you, ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're better off if he just ignores you. <laughs> yep. Nathalian, breathing heavily from the fight, stepped forward. Their Necrons, an ancient race of soulless machines, risen from their tombs to reclaim the galaxy. But that's not why we're here. The Doomslayer's eyes knocked okay. onto Nathalian's. Okay, see, I thought they were going to try to lure him into a fight with the Necrons, and he would just tear them apart, which would be a very bad idea. It would just piss him off. Yeah, it would. Cold and unblinking. Explain. Nathalian gestured toward a massive structure on the horizon. A colossal, pyramid-like tomb, its walls shimmering with dark energy. There's something more on this planet. An artifact was discovered deep within that Necron tomb. Our librarian sensed it. A presence of the warp, of chaos. We believe it was what triggered the Necrons to awaken. Something far worse than them is here. As if on cue, the ground beneath them trembled. A cold, malevolent laugh echoed across the battlefield, freezing the blood of every warrior present. The Necrons halted them. Not every warrior. Doomslayer still doesn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that could possibly, air quotes, possibly, be worse than the Necrons. It's either the Eldar or the Tyranids. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Keep in Their mind, attack. the Necrons yep. have a piece of technology that allows you to pinch a star on a galactic map and cause the actual star to go supernova. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's shit. like a... That, 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 like that basically... Said, the that only turns... two things worse than Necrons are Eldar, because they burst the Chaos God on accident, and the Tyranids, because for all we know, there is no other life outside of our galaxy anymore due to them. Because they fucking ate it all. Though, and, um, mm -hmm. given the context of how Tyranids can approach our galaxy, they can come up from both above and under the galaxy, as well as the sides. One will you, type will you... can just show up at the system skull at, without any warning, if they so choose. Yeah, exactly. Well, not exactly, not exactly, exactly though, because you got to remember, like the the galaxy is not a flat disk; it's several hundred trillion miles in in width, but you know, also bigger, also bigger on the, the galactic disk. So yeah, they of course the Tyranids can come up through the galactic plane because you got to remember, space is three dimensional; it's not two dimensional. Exactly. So yeah, there's also though um, I had to disagree with you though on one point though. Huntsman, there is one thing that could be worse than the Necrons, and that is whatever the fuck is lurking inside the Ghoul Stars. Because the Ghoul Stars, whatever's there, has driven has driven a bunch of Necrons completely insane. I believe that's just the Flare Net virus. The Ghoul yeah, Stars the... effectively act as an additional layer of shelter for Flare Necrons. They are attracted yes. to them for some reason. Yeah, but as the Ghoul Stars, there's a, whatever's in the Ghoul Stars. stars. The, the, whatever's in the ghoul stars, like, everything stays away from it. Like, yes, there are some chaos entities near it, but for the most part, chaos gives it a wide berth. Even the Tyranids don't like to yes. go there. Yeah, so even they know better, because a Tyranid fleet went in there looking for something to eat and came out completely batshit insane. <laughs> I'm rolling to bet there's a large Kadhan shard somewhere in the ghoul stars. It's something bad, dude. Something real bad. Something uh, I don't know, because I don't even think Chaos would be afraid of a Catan shard. They might be afraid of a full-size Catan, you know, but maybe not not a shard. A large I don't think, shard. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think, because I don't, I don't know, because I think the Catan and the Chaos Gods are kind of, like, a full Catan and a Chaos God would pretty much be on equal footing. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I would, I'd 100% expect a Catan, a full Catan. Before it got shattered, to absolutely fucking dumb sir, all the fucking chaos gods. Keep in mind, when the Catan were in service, the god emperor of mankind would have been a basic foot soldier. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, they well, were just dumpster the chaos gods. Well, I, I mean that. I mean that depends. I mean because uh, the emperor has gotten way more powerful as a psychic presence, even yeah, though he's a corpse. Even emperor, though he's a corpse. Yeah. Even though. Even though he's a corpse on a freaking uh, throne, he's gotten a lot more powerful since since his you know inception. It could also be Hell, a low one. Mm -hmm. It could be. It could be. It could be something like that might have enough power to literally fuck with the minds of the Necrons and the 
and the Catan. Though I don't know, because the Necrons were supposedly completely immune to the powers of the Old Ones. That's why the Old Ones created the Krorks and the Eldar. Because they couldn't fight the they couldn't fight the Necrons. Not completely immune, but it's basically mostly nullified. Yeah. Hurling a boulder using your psionic powers against something made out of metal will still damage the metal. But since it's yeah. metal and not Organic. Well, their 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 psychic the psychic well, abilities of the old ones extended far beyond that. I mean, they I had the ability to like alter reality with their minds and shit. They were really powerful. Mm -hmm. Also, if I remember my lore correctly, the flare of virus came into play when a Necron Catan got fully destroyed and erased from existence. Hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what so, caused you know that's what happens when you kill a star god. Yep. Well, anyway, let's keep going. Indeed. So speaking speaking of god killing, this is like we're talking we're watching a video about a god killer. Oh yeah, there minor bits yeah. about Abaddon. He had his yeah. dick slapped by a fucking Eldar wizard before. He lost a melee <laughs> fight to a Eldar wizard. Beating That's... Abaddon is no longer, at least me, considered a major feat. Dude, that's just <laughs> everyone. Where is it? Present. Okay. The Necrons halted their attack. Their attention seemingly diverted by the same presence. A figure stepped out of the shadows from behind the towering Necron obelisk, his black armor gleaming with dark, corrupted energy. His massive, spiked silhouette was unmistakable. Abaddon, the despoiler. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be, Is that supposed to, I think, is that supposed to be Abaddon, the despoiler? It's more like Legion of the Damned. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't... It, I think I would expect him to be a lot bigger than that, you know? Abaddon and even, is almost it, primark size. Yeah, and uh, he would be, and he would be spikier too, wouldn't he? Significantly, that and uh, he doesn't wear a helmet like any other namespace marine. Oh, that's right, that's right. Namespace marines don't wear helmets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Helmets, helmets are helmets are for no names <laughs> <laughs> because they don't need a helmet; they have plot armor. <laughs> In our case, quite literally. Of yeah. chaos, war master of the Black Legion. You sense it, don't you? Abaddon's voice was a growl, filled with malice. The power of the warp, the true dominion of the galaxy. This planet belongs to chaos now, and you will fall like all the rest. Right. Thalion's blood turned cold as he saw the War Master of Chaos in the flesh. Yeah, about he that. Many enemies, but Abaddon was a legend of destruction, a force that had toppled worlds and shattered empires. Oh. The raised their bolters. But Abaddon's presence alone seemed to darken the sky, as though the planet itself recoiled in fear. But the Doomslayer's reaction was different. He stepped <laughs> forward, his cold eyes and his a familiar rage as he sized up the new threat. Dude, I can so picture this in my head, it would be awesome! Yeah, it would. Well. That's more like Like I said, Abaddon had the shit be out of him by a goddamn wizard in melee <laughs> combat. <laughs> wizard, wizard, wizard! Wizards are not special. Uh, do not specialize in melee combat. No, I don't. He is All right. not a surprise. <laughs> Let's keep going. As he sized up the new threat, a slow, dangerous smile tugged at the corners of his mouth. Oh shit! That's more like it. The, the Deep Slayer s smiles. You screwed, man. Tightening around mm -hmm. his shotgun. Without another word, the Doom Slayer charged towards Abaddon moving faster than any mortal should. His shotgun roared to life, firing blast after blast at the War Master. Abaddon raised his Talon of Horus, deflecting the shots with ease, his dark laughter echoing through the air. You think you can challenge me, mortal? Abaddon hmm, that spirit, looks like, would be like Abaddon. glowing with the power of the warp. That's I just am a the fucking spoiler. chaos warrior from fantasy. Oh, is it? Literally, is, oh. pretty much. Oh, oh okay. It, his eyes glowing with the power of the warp. I am the despoiler. I have torn down empires, shattered Damn armies. It. You are nothing but a gnat to me. The Doomslayer's only response was a growl of pure fury. He leapt into the air, closing the distance between them in an instant. His fist, covered in blood and gore, slammed into Abaddon's chest with a force that shook the ground. The war muscles staggered back, momentarily oh. stunned by the sheer power of the blow. But Abaddon was no ordinary foe. He roared in anger, swinging the Talon of Horus in a wide arc. 
The Doomslayer dodged with lightning reflexes, rolling to the side and firing his shotgun point blank into Abaddon's side. The blast tore through Abaddon's armor, sending shards of blackened ceramide flying. Nathalian and the Salamanders, sensing their opportunity, opened fire on Abaddon's Black Legion warriors, engaging them in a furious battle. Their eyes kept flicking back to the duel between the Doomslayer and the Warmaster, unable like, to how could you not watch that? The spectacle. No. Yeah, the Doomslayer only. fought with a brutality and skill that even the hardened salamanders had never seen. He was relentless, each strike more savage than the last. Abaddon, for all his power and strength, found himself on the defensive, his every Ooh. move countered by the Slayer's sheer ferocity. With a bellow of rage, Abaddon what? summoned Here's the power fact. of the warp. What? A very fun fact. You know what? that Space Marines still age, right? Yeah, they still age. Mm-hmm. And? Well, oh, do you know of Sigismund? Sigismund? Yeah. What about him? It took a multi-thousand-year-old, aging and crippled Sigismund against Abaddon for Abaddon to finally fucking beat Sigismund after <laughs> thousands of years of being juiced by chaos. You wanna know how he <laughs> beat him? How? Literal chaos plot armor. Sigismund landed a fucking killing blow. To his parts. But he's like, nah, I'm gonna lock that shit off before slicing Sigismund in half, despite technically Dude. losing that one. He only won because I'm choosing him. Oh, God. Well, Sigismund you think it was literally one of the oldest space marines at the time. Well, you he think was of... visibly slowing down compared to your average space marine. That's how old he was getting. And he still lost to that man. <laughs> I mean, you, you think about it, like, a lot of the Chaos guys, like, isn't isn't he, isn't Abaddon, like, a Chaos champion or some shit like that? He is, and I say this sarcastically, the War Master of Chaos. All of Chaos, not just Corn or some shit? All of Chaos. He is okay, the okay, okay. of Chaos yeah. undivided. He has okay, the okay. favor of all four Chaos gods. Really? Wow. wow. Okay. Well, uh, we think about it. Uh, what's it, what's this guy's name? Uh, Lucius the Eternal. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, so you obviously know who that is. Um, yeah, you, that guy is bullshit plot armor. Okay, he died he by was accident. Cursed. He was killed by accident, and he still came back. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, so he you talk about plot armor? All the chaos. Uh, Space Marines, they all have plot armor. Bullshit plot can, armor. Yes. They all have bullshit plot armor, so, you know. But why you why would Abaddon be any different? Some Chaos Space Marines, off Lucius, actually have been killed. Well, yeah, but still. <laughs> like, it depends on how important they are to the plot. Maybe I mean, think, it, think, it, think, it, think, it, think about it, think about it. What, what's, what's, what's his name? Um, uh, Gilliman. Gilliman was technically killed, but he got better. Yeah, that was the first time the emperor, emperor himself intervened in over ten thousand years. <laughs> Finally got off his ass to do something. Got off How his royal barring the Necron at uh, fucking Astronomicon. Yeah, getting off his ass, off his golden toilet seat, and doing something. He technically Since... can. He's a skeleton. All he does is sit on his ass all day and eat children. <laughs> well, not just children. Well, mostly children. Anyway, let's keep going. Sheer ferocity. With a bellow of rage, Abaddon summoned the power of the warp, sending a wave of dark energy crashing into the Doomslayer. The ground split beneath them, and the air crackled them with malevolent energy. But the Doomslayer Dude, didn't flinch. I like that. He Thick. stepped through awesome. the warp energy as though it were nothing, his eyes blazing <laughs> with cold determination. Yeah, it, it wouldn't the affect him. rang out one last time. Yeah, he faced the war. striking Abaddon square in the chest and sending the war crashing to the ground. Abaddon, breathing heavily, stared up at the Doomslayer in disbelief, blood leaking from his wounds. Impossible. You cannot guess what? That's me. not the first time the Abaddon had a game chest wound. What? That's not the first time Abaddon had a gaping chest wound. <laughs> One he should have died from. Yeah. Impossible. You cannot defeat me. The Doomslayer stood over him, his cold gaze unyielding. I don't care who you are. And with that, 
the Doomslayer raised his foot and brought it down with all his might, crushing Abaddon's head into the dirt. Jeez. For a moment, there was only silence. The remaining forces of Chaos, seeing their leader defeated, began to retreat, disappearing into the warp. The Necrons, too, fell back into their tombs, the energy that had awakened them fading as quickly as it had come. Nathalian, covered in blood and debris, approached the Doomslayer cautiously. You... you killed Abaddon. The Doomslayer turned to face him, his eyes still burning with fury. Where's the next one? Nathalian nodded slowly, understanding now the true nature of the Doomslayer. No one gets he history of bullshitting people, he's just gonna be like, nah, that was just a clone of me. That was at one percent of my true power. Fuck you. If if that if that if that was a clone, that'd be the only way he would survive because uh, regeneration doesn't work with the Doomslayer. As an as a celestial being, he brings true death even to other celestial beings. Mm -hmm. So like so he could technically kill. Just like he has, just like he killed the Dark Lord, just like he killed the t the Titan, the legendary Titan of Hell, he could even kill the Chaos Gods. Of course, their malevolent energy would swirl around and eventually coalesce into something new because the energy's still there. It's still it is still made of the dick, the assholishness and dickery that made them in the first place. So it would create something else eventually. But as far as the individual Chaos God is concerned, yeah, they're de they're dead. <laughs> Now, let's mm -hmm. talk about a, a bit about the background. It's both Chaos and the Necron progressives. Yet the moment yeah. the War Master of Chaos goes bye-bye, both <laughs> the Necrons and Chaos are like, their advances. Peace. They, do, they, do the, they do the peace out meme, and then they fade away. <laughs> the Necrons fucking hate Chaos, and they would be fighting Chaos more than the Imperium. Yeah, well, the, they kind of fight whatever's in front of them because the Imperium's stupid. Rather than letting the Necrons do the heavy work for them, they think, oh, foul Xenos, we shall purge you all. Stupid. The Imperium mm -hmm. has worked with the Necrons before. The yes, they have. Against Chaos and the Tyranids. Yeah, uh, well, I remember the deal they had with the Silent King. And I remember the Silent King actually wanted to work with um, Sanguinius. Mm -hmm. the, Silent King, the Silent King actually liked him. Mm-hmm. And surprisingly enough, out of all the races in in 40k, though Necrons, at least the smart ones, are among the few that actually have respect for humanity. They actually respect them. You know what this or, reminds me of? What? One of the Kyphus Kane books had a Tyranid invasion of a planet be the backdrop of the story. They wrapped okay. up the Tyranid invasion in five pages. Yeah! Because they forgot about it. They forgot yeah. about it. They forgot about it. Yep. Same that sounds like right there. That's that sounds like something a Kiritariyama would do. You know, rest his soul. Um, that because he the reason why like in the Dragon Ball Z thing, the reason why Vegeta's tail never grew back, even though he straight up Vegeta straight up states that uh, don't worry, if my tail will grow back. He straight up says that in the manga, and the reason why uh, Goten and Trunks don't have tails. It's because Akira Toriyama literally just forgot that Saiyans have tails. He forgot. Mm -hmm. And the whole reason that even though launch slash lunch was a big part of the Dragon Ball uh, thing for the original Dragon Ball, original she was a big Dragon part of the story. Ball, yeah, yeah she, she was a big part of Z. Yeah, th that's because Akira, Tor Akira Toriyama literally just forgot she existed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He totally forgot. He totally forgot about her. She was actually being hyped up as kind of like a romantic thing with. Uh, with yeah, Tien, and, and then and then and, yep. and then and then I think and then I think that instead I just go with Chaozu. So I don't know, but um, <laughs> <laughs> gay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dra Dragon Ball Z approach. Yes, it made Dragon Ball popular again. That's why we have Dragon Ball Super. If it wasn't for Dragon Ball Z approach, we would not have Dragon Ball Super. Not because of Dragon Ball Evolution. Oh god, that, that nearly killed Dragon Ball for everybody. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's keep going. Thalion nodded slowly, understanding now the true nature of the Doomslayer. He was no mere warrior. He was a force of vengeance, a weapon forged in the fires of endless war. More will come, Nathalion said, his voice steady. And when they do, we'll be ready. The Doomslayer nodded once, then turned away, his gaze fixed on the horizon. 
The war was far from over, but for now, the battlefield was silent, and the Slayer, as always, was ready for the next fight. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I fully agree that the Slayer would beat Abaddon, but... He would he would beat Abaddon? He would, yes. Easily, in fact. But it wouldn't be that quick. Yeah. Well, well, they could, they had they had to go with whatever they could, you know. It's like it's like the guy's writing the story, but I mean, yeah, he would. I mean, the, the Abaddon really isn't anything bigger than what the Slayer has fought before, you know. I mean, he's fought kaiju-sized demons with his fists for crying out loud, you know. I mean, there was a there was a tight a, a titan demon that invaded the. Uh, the planet of Sentinel Prime by himself just because he wanted to, he felt like it, and he nearly conquered the planet, nearly destroyed all of their defenses, and these guys had already been fighting demons for centuries. He nearly destroyed all of their defenses by himself until the Doom Slayer got juiced by the Divinity Machine and then he showed up and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember, this is this is like... This is like a guy like who's the size who's not even like get, it's like getting the shit kicked out of you by a guy who's the size of your pinky and he's just beating you to death. <laughs> 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 so you know, I mean, I don't think Abaddon ain't gonna have much to stand on here. Mm-hmm. Given and, he and t- lo- given Abaddon lost to a wizard and an old man, yeah, no, dude, he's, he's not gonna let it go. Man. He's not gonna let it go. <laughs> The old man wizard no, thing. No, I will He's not, not gonna let it go. <laughs> An old man and a wizard. He has not at the, the worst losing record. And not, not at the same time. And not at the same time. Not at the same time. Not at the same time. Individually, those are two different fights. <laughs> you wanna know who doesn't have that dog shit of a fucking track record? An actually uh, good Chaos Space Marine. Corn the Betrayer. Corn the Betrayer? Corn. Does it Karn. Oh, Karn the Betrayer. Okay, I think it's a Korn. I mean, tell me there's a Space Ring dumbass who named himself after the demon, after the Chaos God Korn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is, a, this is, it's good to have, see, this is one of the reasons why I really wanted to have uh, Huntsman for this, because he knows about more about Warhammer than any of us. Uh, good shit, good shit. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like this video, subscribe. Definitely click on the link to the original in the description. Like the original and sub to Secret Force Studios. I'm not Secret Force. That's wrong. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, Dread Dreadcore. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm looking at the next video here. The Dreadcore's uh, channel because they got other stories. As you saw in the ending right there, it said, "What if the uh, Dark Eldar landed on Earth?" They've got other ones like, uh, "What if?" Um, what if Lobo was in 40k? What if the Punisher was in 40k? Um, what was that one? Oh, they ha- he has a two... It's like, there's two parts to it so far. What if Superman had been raised by the God Emperor of Mankind? That would have been... That's an interesting... Seems interesting right there. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to play a bit of Devil's Advocate. Here's why what? Abaddon lost. Clearly, it's because <laughs> he didn't have a Blackstone Fortress to throw at the Doom Slayer. Uh, <laughs> I doubt that would have done very much, but still... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, they literally, in order to stun him for a few minutes, the demons had to drop a city-sized temple on him, and that uh, only Black stunned Stone him. Fortress was what he used to shatter Cadia. Oh, that's Dude. what he used. That's yes. what he used to shatter Cadia. Okay, so that would have that would have stunned that would have stunned the stu- the Slayer for a bit. Wouldn't have beaten him. Probably wouldn't even have hurt him really bad. But he would have been like, oh, oh, wildly oh. annoyed, and probably one he yeah. hollered. It probably yeah. it probably would have just it probably just would have disoriented him for a few minutes. You know, he'd been like, Ugh. like you ever been hit in the head with something really hard and you're just like, oh ah you know, just for like a few minutes like Ah mm-hmm. Ah <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bag of Cheetos before he goes back to fighting. <laughs> a bag of Cheetos. This bag of Cheetos, just a little just a little quick little snack. He just pop he just pops a slim gym he just snaps a slim gym or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys I'll see you guys next time tune in every day for new content of course we got more videos coming up today bye 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 bye